hey guys welcome to this tutorial series on spring mbc so in this video i'm going to explain about the date time format validation so i have covered these all validations of spring mbc so let's get started for date time validations so using date time validation we can uh, force user to provide particular date format for any uh, form fields that uh, we have provided into our forms so let's do that uh, so in this class in this customer class I'm using different validation uh, as you see on the screen so if you have not seen my last video so I recommend you to go to those video first I will provide the link for those within the description of this video so for date time format validation we need to use date time uh, format annotation okay so here we need to provide the uh, pattern of our date and time so let's give it dd mm y y y y okay so and also we can use non null here such that our date field should not be null and here we can send a message to user that date field is mandatory okay so there is one more annotation that is past annotation that is used for date so using past annotation we can actually force user to pass to provide the date valid date such that the user won't provide any invalid date like date more than today so that we can force user using this okay so we need to add one dependency to achieve this which is java joda date time so let's put this dependency into pom.xml file okay so add this dependency and okay there is an error let's check it out yeah we need to add the dependency tag here okay yep it is fine now i think so in our customer class okay it is building so now uh, we need to provide the getter and setter for this new field that we have created so let's create the getter and setter for that okay let's add the getter and setters so generate getter and setters okay so yeah we need to create an object first private date let's say let's add this as birth date okay okay so let's select the field click ok so our two steps are done we have added the dependency now we have added the field also now we need to put the our field into jsv file so here give the name for this and change the name here also okay so we can run this now and we can test it so let's run it on server so server is yeah it is not started yet okay let's start this okay the server is started so okay let's check the messages yep this message we need to modify so let's give some message here also 
Let's, okay, so let's change this as our date must be okay. I can say invalid date. Okay, so yeah, we can test it now. So our controller is let's check the controller first. Yeah, it is register as the controller. We are we are using valid annotation to validate the customer. Uh, as per our last videos. Okay, so let's click on register. Okay, so now we can just click on the submit button. Yeah, so date field i think the name is wrong let's change the name here so it should be date okay and let's hit this url again okay so if you just click on the submit button so it will say date field is mandatory so let's provide some dates here 2020 okay so now date is valid okay let's give some name to here the customer id one two three Okay, password. Let's keep some value to password. So, yep, so it is working. So if we enter a wrong date, let's say 2031, so it will say invalid date. So in in this way, we can achieve the uh, date validation in Spring MBC. So you can use this this date time format validation so here as you see in my customer class i'm using these messages into the form uh, the parameter field so it's not a right way of doing this this message should comes from the property file so for that we need to use property placeholder so that i will explain in my next uh, videos so that's all for this video i'll see you next video bye bye